Thank you very much for stopping by today. Today's video will be recorded in our living room because the weather in Singapore uh, for the past couple of days is very unpredictable and it's raining every other day. Anyways, this way you get a chance how a typical view outside of the window in a Singapore looks like, especially if you are living on a higher rise um, or higher floor like us. Uh, people that, can li that, that live in um, any major city around the world can probably relate. You have um, apartment buildings which are surrounding you. Thankfully, in this case, the apartment buildings are not too close to each other, so you still have a privacy in the evening um, when it's already dark and the lights in the apartments are on. It creates a beautiful scenery. Um, I, I enjoy it very much. Uh, anyways, in today's video, I would like to follow up on a video which I have posted four months ago. In the video, I was talking about a crime which was committed upon us. It was about the incident where somebody got into our building and stole um, women's underwear. Uh, as the result of what, uh, what we did, or actually my neighbor did, he installed a security camera. Uh, on our floor, and sure enough, within four days, the person which was stealing the underwear previously came to our building again. Uh, some underwear was stolen again. However, this time we had a clear video showing clearly the picture of the individual. We have shared the video with the uh, building management and uh, um, then we were told to simply trust the process and uh, let the management do what they are supposed to do. I was asking, hey, did you call the police? They said, not yet. Um, I didn't fully you know, understand why not. I was a little bit skeptical, but the manager of the building told me, Robert, trust the process. So I went by his advice and I blindly trusted the process. And uh, sure enough, it was actually a very good advice. Um, anyways, the security in our apartment building, they had print out of the person. Sure enough, within less than one week, the person came into the building after midnight to shop once again uh, for the underwear, but the person was recognized by the security. And uh, once he entered the building, the security called the police. The police was here within five minutes. They waited for the person downstairs in the lobby. They secured all the exits from the building and they were simply waiting for him to show up. Uh, within 10 minutes or so, the person came downstairs using the stairs and when the person opened the door, he ran immediately into the arms of the police, also with the full of his arms of women's underwear. Uh, anyways, the guy was immediately secured and uh, taken to the police station. A couple days later, the police came back to the apartment and uh, they were asking around how many pieces of the underwear were stolen in the past. I'm only guessing that they were probably trying to estimate what was the damage caused by this individual um, and try, where they were trying to figure out um, for how long he has been coming to our building. And it is probably obvious that this is not the only building uh, way which, which he was visiting late at night or early in the morning, I should say. Um, anyways, the moral of the story, why am I talking about this when it is such a minor crime uh, and that's exactly why I'm, why I'm talk, talking about it. It's such a minor crime that in majority of the countries, definitely in my home country in Europe, if you report something like this, police wouldn't even make a report because the damage was so small and they have other things more important or bigger to worry about that they wouldn't even take you seriously. Over here in a Singapore situation is completely different. Crime is a crime and justice needs to be served 
And the police, even though the report was as small as stealing somebody's underwear, they took it very seriously. And when the security from the building called the police, they showed up multiple cars, actually, within five minutes. Um, well, obviously, because the guy, uh, a younger gentleman, probably, uh, probably in his early 30s, uh, was coming here regularly, that just shows that um, probably he was not very clear in his mind and uh, there's, uh, there's some sort of an issue going on um, over here. So I'm just, getting, I'm, I'm just hoping that um, um, on top of everything, his condition most likely will be recognized and he will get the help that he needs. Uh, probably that's the most important thing that, uh, that I would be interested in. Uh, obviously, the, the damage was not that big. I can, I can, we can live with it. Um, however, because this is Singapore, because of such silly thing, uh, the person has, I would say, most likely ruined his life. If the person is not Singaporean, um, I'm pretty sure uh, that that person will be punished in a Singapore before deported out. And by the punishment, I can only imagine uh, that uh, uh, it will be the corporal punishment. Uh, what is corporal punishment? Do I need to educate you or, or do you know already? Well, there are two punishments in a Singapore, corporal and capital. The capital uh, means uh, the end of the story and uh, the corporal punishment is, um, is an exercise where you will get a massage with a bamboo stick, which uh, if you get to choose, you probably prefer not to get it. Uh, so that's, that's my only assumption of what I believe what has happened. Um, and um, as I mentioned, if the person is not Singaporean passport holder, most likely it's already deported and uh, fully massaged. Um, anyways, why I'm talking about this, again, I just want to highlight Singapore is the safest place in the world. It doesn't mean necessarily that the crime is not happening. The crime is happening, <clears throat> but maybe the scale or the severity of the crimes is smaller than I am used to from my country, potentially you are used to from, from your country. But the crime is happening and it's taken very seriously. And because even the small crimes are taken seriously, uh, that's why the other smarter people will learn from somebody else's mistake. And when they will see, hey, if you steal even somebody's underwear, which price is a couple dollars, there will be severe consequences, so you better not do it. And that's the, that's the main message. So big shout out you know, to the police department over here. Um, um, I really you know, admire quick action and I'm still very impressed how all the processes, how everything is smoothly, simply working. Um, you report a crime, it, uh, it gets resolved, and there's a proper follow-up and investigation afterwards with all the seriousness. Um, Singapore is a place where you better not commit any crime, even a minor one, or you are done for the rest of your life. Definitely lifetime ban to enter this beautiful country um, and uh, other punishments on the top of it. Anyways, that's, uh, that's the end of the investigation. The crime, the crime was solved, the, uh, the building is safe, there was no incident ever since and I still do not have the need to, you know, to publish the gentleman's face. I think that um, he is already, already deeply regretting what he has committed and uh, 
no need to post any picture online and uh, uh, let it go potentially viral. Viral. I uh, don't want to cause any more troubles for the person that he's already in. Thank you very much for watching and um, if you enjoyed this video please consider giving it a like and uh, subscribing to our channel. Thank you and I will see you in the next one.